Welcome friends, we are here at Alpha 19 and we're going to be looking at world generation and specifically random world generation. I'm here in the 7 days that I client and as you know you can generate worlds when you start a new game here and they are pretty crappy. So let's take a quick look at a generic generated map here that we do in 7 days to die and then we're going to flip over to using an amazing world generation tool, the nitrogen generator. Ooh, nitro boost your world generation. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use the tool, how to install it, how to get it and all of that and how to actually play the games or the saves of the worlds that you're actually generating. And this is the map we have. This is a 4K map that took about 5 minutes to generate. And if you look at it, uh, there are some cities here. There's some smaller towns and everything. But I, I'm sorry, this is a really crappy generation. I mean, you have forest, a forest square. Then you have left side, you have desert. North side, wasteland. East side, you have snow. And south, you have, I think that's a burnt forest. I mean, sorry, this does not look very natural at all. I mean, come on, fun pimps, fun pimps, please. This is not a good way to generate a map. I know you guys are trying to make things work, but sorry, this is maybe the, the town layout, stuff like that, but the biomes are terrible. I mean, they've gotten worse and worse. They used to be reasonably good, actually, and now they're terrible. It's like they've been changing the map generation so much, and they simply cannot get it to look nice and natural and then they end up looking this really artificial way and it's crappy terrible terrible sorry I, I i simply don't like it at all it's just it's playable but no 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 so we're gonna exit out of this and we're gonna look at nitrogen so we want to do this better we want to nitro boost our map generation with nitrogen so i'm here on the seven days to die forum so which has a post by Democles. Ooh, Democles is sword. Isn't that it? Democles is sword. Oh, whatever. Anyway, it's an awesome tool. It's a really an awesome tool. So I'm going to leave a link to this one. And what you want to do, you can read through and everything. And there's a bunch of screenshots of how it's been generated and blah, 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 blah. blah. So I'm not going to go into that one. You click on this link and you download this zip file, save it somewhere and extract it. Also, make sure you go to java.com slash a, well, depending on what the language you're using and download and try to make sure you get the 64-bit installer. I suggest to try to look for the Windows offline 64-bit because otherwise it tends to give you the 32-bit and that causes problems because it doesn't have enough memory when you're trying to generate. So try to make sure you're getting this one otherwise you are likely to get some memory errors and then you're going to have to find this one anyway. So get this one, install it. And now we are in the extracted nitrogen world generator and there's a bunch of files in here. Let's look at the readme.txt which has some information about what this is all about. And of course you'll see it tells you about some of the features. It tells you how to access it. It'll tell you how to install it about the Java. Make sure you get the Java, how to install the actual nitrogen uh, application which is basically just extracting it also tells you to first try to run the nitrogen.exe you can fall back to the jar or the batch files if you're having some issues for me as soon as i got the correct version of the java i could run nitrogen.exe and it was working just fine so let's bring this up here but of course you might be really curious about how does it really look when you generate it and there's a lot of option in that we're going to go through some of them but not all of them but this is a generic map that I have generated and you'll see the snow up on the top there's a lot of forest around some snow biomes around interspersed here and we have some deserts as well the brown stuff here is actually burnt biomes you can see all these circles are craters which is wasteland areas they don't generate in one big biome or like on the on the vanilla, which has the whole you know, north or west or south, which is all wasteland. No, no, this is sort of a craters from, uh, I guess, nuclear missiles and stuff like that. And of course, the burnt areas, well, smaller areas where you might have some burnt stuff, not like a whole biome. So it's much better. And you can also specify the lakes, small lakes, big lakes, rivers, and how many cities you want to have, or rather big or small cities and towns and stuff like that. And this is the 12K map, and it took me about nine minutes to generate, and it's awesome. I'm using this on my server. By looking here, these are all the options and there's a ton of them here. We're going to uh, generate one here. So let's do nitrogen vet here. You can select the size. I would suggest starting with a 4K map because it's really fast to generate and allow you to sort of play around with 
these uh, features um, add burnt and wasteland is good otherwise you don't get any you can obviously set you know do you want to have water or forest that's sort of what are around it I like to have water you can specify how many traders do you want to have do you want to have extra ones do you want to have just an, uh, the regular ones so we're going to have just a normal trader not extra traders otherwise you end up with two you can specify a player spawn having a single spawn point is good if you have potential and multiplayer co-op because everyone will spawn in the same area they're not going to be spread out over the map you want to have extra for instance extra car lots lots let's have lots of car lots farms a few we don't want to have too many farms city size large very large let's do very large this time and you can play around with it let's see flat let's do a little bit of mountain no let's do this one let's do mountains please thank you a little bit more desert rocky and the rest just random and yeah this should be good let's hit generate world and done 27 seconds as opposed to five minutes for making a 4k map what i would suggest also make sure you render a preview because then you get a nice little map of it so let's go into the output folder again this is the basic go into the output folder nitrogen ved we'll go preview and let's open up the map itself and you'll see this is what we have so we have some snow up here we have a couple of craters again it's a 4k map we have some desert here and there's uh, some burnt around and we have a big city and a little bit smaller city and some little bit uh, settlements around as well again small one we do have rivers and of course we saw the lakes and everything isn't this cool isn't this so much better than the vanilla i mean this one looks good it looks a lot more generic sort of organically grown a lot more natural of course it looks like an island and of course it's a little bit squarish all of them are going to be but you could have like forest around and everything if you really wanted to but it's so much better so now we've generated this one let's say you want to play with it you just start the game and everything is good right no 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 no, no. that's not how it works almost but not quite so we want to get to output folder this is the generated world that we have to do something with it so that the seven days to die can find it and what you want to do is that you want to open either the either start menu or a folder and you tap app data and percentage again it'll put you in the correct location go in seven days to die go in generated worlds and just pull it in there move it'll copy it over and now the game can actually find it so let's get into the game client we'll load it into the game here and let's do new game now let's select the correct one which should be let's search for it now there we have Nitrogen, gen ved, and let's do we we whatever doesn't matter. All the settings are all just the same as you would have normally. But make sure you select this one, and you see it's a correct size from what we generated. And this is actually you see nitrogen ved is corresponding to the folder we just copied in. So let's do start, and we're in the game. And here we go. See the quest was coming, and yeah starting in a snow area so this is how simple it is so uh go go enjoy go generate a few of the the maps see what you like then uh, get an 8k map is probably a good start to really play around with copy it into the generated worlds folder a percentage update that percentage will put you in the correct location if you're doing that in a folder or even start menu and yeah it should be really good and you should have a much better map to play around with but oh actually you see there's a wolf here. Let's see. Can we kill the wolf? Be really careful when you are spawning in the snow. Oh, yeah. You are going to die. Let's see if I can do this. Yes, I can do it. No, no, no. Oh, come on. You are not going to get away. You're trying to kill me? No, no, no. Die. Give me some meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, die. Die. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I will. I will get you. I will get you. I think. I will. I will. I refuse. Oh, come on. I'm gonna be so. Alright. You are lucky. You lucky wolf. <sighs> anyway, I guess no meat for me today. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Make sure if you're still watching this and you enjoyed this video tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Leave a like. Why not join my Discord? Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.